Welcome. Thank you for joining the Live in Divine Harmony podcast. I'm Carmen, your divine synergist of heart's joy. I'm an awakened person of purpose, a spiritual life coach. I have a passion for life. I'm an author, a podcast host, and a numerologist. Every week we have a discussion, and this week's discussion on the podcast is a 2023 update part two, decoding messages. So thank you for those who are tuning in live. Um, please be sure to join us in the comment section. Don't forget to share, like, follow as well. All right. So in the 2023 numerology and energy update, I mentioned how what was hidden will come to light throughout the year. Now this could be, and it's going to be in politics, society, could be your personal and professional life as well. Nothing is off limits. You'll, you're going to experience this in every aspect of your life. Now, this is one of the many reasons I've been encouraging you now for several months to create a solid spiritual practice that works for you. As I mentioned in the last episode, this is going to be a really rocky year and it may feel chaotic. It's for me, it's, I, I get the feeling of like, a for me, another roller coaster of a year. Okay. So we really need to have some sort of spiritual practice that we have every day that we're doing every day. And especially when the roller coaster times start now, as this information comes to light, we get to start to decode the messages that are going to be hidden. Because everything is not going to be revealed at one time. It can't be. Now, there will still be messages for us to uncover. One thing to keep in mind when decoding messages. Ask yourself, are you decoding them from a viewpoint of every angle and listening to your intuition? Have you done your research? Or are you simply going off speculation or what you've heard from somebody else you saw printed somewhere else? And that's kind of where things go awry. Maybe you've heard things from an unreliable source and you took it as quote unquote, the tr truth. Great example. And I'm simply going to use this as an example with the disclaimer that I didn't do any research because I found it interesting, the conversations that I did see on Twitter, and I just left it as that. Um, this was during um, the Speaker of the House of Votes, where one of the, my understanding is House of Representatives, did a symbol, um, made a gesture. And, you know, depending on who you spoke to, this person who made the gesture actually knew sign language. And that was a piece of his way of whatever, giving a message sign language to whoever was watching him versus no, this was the sign of white power. And yes, I also know that a lot of, and when I say, I know I've seen it, the, the factual truth that there are signs out there like that hand gesture symbols that a lot of people in certain places of power will give. So I'm simply using that as an example, because I found it interesting that it had popped up in my Twitter feed and depending on who you spoke with or saw what, what they posted gave a different explanation for whatever, whatever they thought it might be. And so I just want you to keep that in mind. Can you look at things from this higher viewpoint, this vantage point without getting so tied to it of that I'm right, you're wrong. Now, there's always energetic messages that are hidden and or have multiple meanings. What does this mean? One of which I just mentioned to you. Um, I've also noticed how certain people will maybe say things and they're really talking to another group. Jason Shurka did that recently. He even said that at the beginning of the video um, where he said, um, you know, this is a message for you. And it's also a message for this other group of people as well. Well, you're listening and watching the video. You're getting the message that was meant for you. Those people are then getting the message that's meant for them. Now, 
the various ways that I'm going to talk about today in today's episode is through numerology, through body language, through colors, through symbols. Those are just a few different ways that we can start to decode um, maybe what other message there is when you're either watching a video or you're talking to somebody. And real quick, I'm going to say that at this point, and I feel like I mentioned it last year too uh, in one of the podcasts, um, that there are sometimes I see things and I'm not even sure if it's real or not, just because there's so much manipulation with video as well. Okay. So numerology, the universe is truly written in numbers. The best way that I explain numerology to people, um, to help you understand numerology is it's like DOS. I remember when email first came out where you had to know the written code of DOS, which was letters and numbers, um, and other <laughs> codes on your, um, keyboard and, and they had to be in a particular order in order for you to send an email. When we are writing on our computer screens, we see text, but behind the scenes, it looks completely different. It is its own language. And so the, the universe is truly written in numbers. Even in our DNA, it's written in letters. There's an energetic vibration connected to each letter. And so this is why I say, notice how you feel when you say a certain word, because there's an energetic vibe, vibration, frequency to each letter in that word. And some people will um, speak in code as well, or it appears they spelled a word incorrectly, but they actually meant to do it on purpose to share a hidden message with another group of people whom that message is for. It wasn't meant for you because you don't know the code. So numbers is definitely one way um, and letters too, as I mentioned just now about the misspelling of words. So I want you to keep that in mind as 2023 goes along. Now, one quick example too for numerology that I love, love, love to do is go pay for gas at the pump and just let it go and see what numbers it ends on. And then look up the energy vibration of those numbers. And I know that sounds crazy. But that shows you um, just what energy frequency um, or what messages the universe has, the angels have for you at that particular time. And if you want to deep dive in that, um, you can um, either join one of the courses, you can join the free online community, um, or if you would like your numerology report, which is what we call your soul's contract, you can always get one of those as well. Um, I do offer private sessions. That would definitely help you understand how numerology is impacting you specifically. Now, the second way is body language. For most of us, speaking is how we communicate. For me, I also look at body language, which is not what's being said. And I can also read what they call read in between the lines. So even though you say something, there's things that you may not be saying that isn't necessarily body language. And I am able to read in between the lines. And this is why I prefer calls over text messages. Um, it's one of the many reasons, let's say that, because when you're texting, there is no body language, there's no tone, there's no way for me to uh, other clues, indicators to help me understand and really look at your entire message that we're having back and forth. Um, great example. I had a friend who we were messaging back and forth and I I said, let's talk tonight to discuss because come to find out what she had sent me versus how it came across were two totally different messages. And I was quite upset when I got the first message and I'm glad that I then went back to her to clarify and I took a different avenue to clarify so that there would be less confusion. So start to notice people's body language, start to notice, um, what's not being said, all of this is going to help you. Um, it almost gives you little clues, if you will, uh, when you are decoding messages. Now, 
colors. This is my favorite. Um, look at the colors that you wear. Look at the colors other people are wearing. Why? Again, colors have an energetic frequency. This is something fun. If you choose to do it, you can look it up to see the meaning of the different colors. And depending on what you're looking at, you can look at it for marketing. You can look at pretty much anything. You can look it up to see what does it mean. It's sending a message. It's a vibration frequency. Um, a great example, somebody recently said to me, oh, green is money. Actually, green is your heart chakra. Purple is money. Um, it's it's kind of the misunderstandings, if you will, about what we've been taught. We thought thought certain colors meant. So I noticed a, somebody in particular that I watch um, at least once a week on video that they always wear black. And I find that really interesting. And I don't know if it's because of how black looks on the screen because of the other background um, or if it's just truly what they always wear. Normally what we wear on the outside is how we're feeling on the inside. And so I always will um, invite people to shift up their colors. And I am purposefully wearing a lot of color today. And that's what I like to do from time to time, change it up. So start to notice what colors are you wearing? That also tells you where you're vi vibrating energetically. If you are like me, I used to be a black and white girl through and through pops of color of red. And that was it. I encourage you to, over the next 30 days, wear a pop of color. Don't You don't have to buy anything new. Um, it could be jewelry, lipstick, eyeshadow. Um, it could be a wristband. It could be anything. For a guy, it could be, and I want it to be an outward collar, right? So if you um, have a different wristband for your watch, or if you um, wear a bracelet, anything. It can be big, small, different, a colored shirt, whatever it is, necklace, do that and start to notice how you feel and what shifts for you after 30 days. There's got to be some consistency to doing this. Okay. Um, another great example is people in the, uh, restaurant catering business. Um, even event planning, a lot of times they wear black. And so, and it's like a conditioning to just wear black over time, conditioning like that will play tricks on you energetically and in, internally. And so a few things, one, start to notice the colors other people are wearing. Are there messages there? Um, and, or are, how are you feeling energetically frequency wise, with the colors that you're wearing. Another great example, a recent one, um, I think it was um, one of the House of Representatives from California was reading a book, which I'm not going to repeat on here what the book was. It's pretty funny, actually. And um, the color of the book was orange, and she ended up wearing orange. That was not a coincidence. That was a loud message that she was giving. I'm using that as an example so you can start to pick these things out, okay? Symbols. This is a hand gestures. This is logos. This is emojis. Now, keep in mind, these can be part of a culture and every group or community has its own culture, okay? So I want you to keep that in mind because I'm not sure what you think of when I hear culture, but keep in mind, every business has its own culture. Every pocket or community or group has its own culture. And understanding that particular culture helps when you're decoding these hidden messages. I learned a lot back in 2020 of different symbols, um, especially in logos of prominent businesses that are hidden. And that's a hidden energetic frequency, um, meaning to us as we're seeing it. And I think that's so important to know, to at least have that knowledge. So then you can decide if you're going to continue to interact with, um, said company. Okay. Um, 
there's always a reason for everything, I believe. And there are a lot of things done on purpose that a lot of people don't know. Um, as I mentioned hand gestures earlier, yes, there are a lot of people in certain political positions in Hollywood who will give different hand gestures. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, please reach out. And it's literally, they're giving messages to that particular group of people. Okay. Um, uh, there are certain emojis that I will never use. I, it, even when I had my journal redesign the front cover, those um, some of those emojis were on the front cover and I asked the designer of the cover to please take them off. She was unaware of what they meant. I knew what they meant and it's not something that I wanted to be a part of. It's not who I am. And so really just start to think about what, what are you engaging in? What are you seeing? And then as this information is coming to light, look for these different symbols. A lot of it is just getting curious. And again, looking at things from a different vantage point, try not to get so deeply tied to the I'm right, you're wrong, or how could they do that? Or um, try not to do what I call um, play in the sandbox with them. Okay. All of this is great information to know, especially with this year and the and the information that's going to be coming to light, I think it will really help you deal with it um, and to navigate the information. Now, as we go through 2023, remember to have a consistent spiritual practice because you're going to need it. I've talked about this many times. If you'd like help, let me know in my free online community. Um, you're also going to think that you're going crazy. And they want you to think this, this is part of the plan, MO, whatever you want to call it. Just know that you're not, it's going to take a really strong person to get through this year. Now there's a, a very important message that I'm going to share here that I intentionally left out of the last podcast. It just didn't feel right to bring it up. And, um, I'm going to bring it up now. Um, there's going to be different reasons for what I'm getting ready to share with you and know that it's going to happen in large numbers. Now, when there is what we call a triple seven hookup in numerology, what does that mean? It means we're in a seven energy year. They could be in a seven energy personal year, which goes from birthday to birthday. And they could also be in a seven month too. It could even be a seven day as well. Um, this causes depression because seven is a very inward number. You're going within, you're contemplative. You may feel rejection as well. And so this depression definitely will lead, lead to people potentially unaliving themselves. Um, I have seen it firsthand. And I've experienced it firsthand as well. So I'm not going to go into the different reasons on this platform. Um, take this knowledge, um, check in on people throughout the year. It's also really, I think, important to know your numerology. Um, if you're missing a number seven, is that a part of your lesson, um, especially this year? Um, and knowing what personal year you're in as well. Um, I know what my lessons are, and I'm very aware of how this year could potentially impact me. And I've really, my focus is to take this time to be proactive, okay? Please be sure to check in on your loved ones, um, even, even the strong people, even the people who you think may not need it. Take your time to check in on them. Tell your loved ones how much you love them, how you feel about them. Take care of one another. This year, we're all really going to need it. When you think about somebody, reach out to them, okay? So take this time to really prepare yourself for 2023. Always remember that there may be a hidden message that you're not supposed to know, and it's there. Just know that the hidden message is there, and it may be that you're not supposed to know right now and that you'll find out later what it is. So to connect throughout the year. If you'd like to do that, you can join our free online community at hearts-joy.mn for mightynetworks.co. 
You can take action today on creating a life you love, um, focusing on your goals and your mission and your vision and what it is you want to accomplish. Get clarity on that during the masterclass. And that's hearts-joy.com forward slash masterclass as well. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And next week, we're going to talk about the Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year, what the year of the rabbit is going to be all about. You'll see some overlap with that as well. And that actually happens on the 22nd. So I'm going, I'm going to share that with you a week early to help you get prepared. For me personally, the new year does not start until the 22nd. Planets are going to be direct by then. And right now I'm just, um, yeah, I'm just chilling and listening and going within. Until next week, sending you much love. Take care.